I love to travel. But packing my luggage, booking flights, managing hotels, not really. And it's kind of the same with coding, like that beauty of being in flow, focusing on a problem and shipping that feature. But then there's all the rest of it, like managing your build tooling, making sure things integrate properly, configuring things, not to talk about the complexity in CI, like configuring and optimizing CI pipeline and babysitting that PR until it's finally review ready and you can post it and send it to some of your coworkers. Now we don't believe it should be like this. And this is exactly why we created Annex. Annex is an open source, technology agnostic build platform that is specifically designed to manage code bases of any scale. Drop Annex into any code base and it immediately understands your product structure and dependencies. When you run tasks, Annex automatically handles the execution order, caching and shows output in a clean, dedicated Annex terminal UI. Your AI assistant also gets full workspace context through the Annex MCP server, making it truly useful peer programmer. And in CI, NX Cloud integrates with your existing CI provider to keep builds fast and scalable, and it even auto-fixes failed PRs with self-healing CI. Sounds interesting? Let's dive in. NX is written in a modular fashion where each individual part can be applied incrementally as needed, and also depending on where you currently are in the development lifecycle. So let's start with the NX Core. NX Core is written in Rust and is technology independent. Its responsibility is to provide the base features for efficiently running tasks, for caching in terms of speed, for workspace analysis, and it also has a dedicated terminal UI. So here, for instance, I have an NPM workspace configured with apps and packages. I have generated a VCLI project, and I have a bunch of packages here in this packages folder. Now I can run NX init in this workspace, and it would automatically initialize NX. What I'll get is an NX package in the package JSON and also an NX JSON, which contains some NX specific configuration, such as defining here the build task pipeline or defining which tasks are cacheable and which are not. So by having installed NX in the workspace, it immediately also understands the workspace structure. And we can even visualize that by running NX graph. This is a visual representation of how our different products relate to each other and NX leverages that information to optimize its operations. For instance, when running tasks. So when it comes to running tasks, NX by default just leverages whatever you have in your package JSON scripts. Such as if we want to run the build for our shop application, we would just go and run NX build shop. Now you can use the fully qualified name, but you don't have to. First of all, it opened up the terminal UI from an X to visualize the outcome where you have on the left hand side the different tasks that have been run and on the right hand side you see the logs for each of these tasks. But also an X first ran the build of the package's UI because shop depends on it. So with this you might be good to go. You have fast task running, you have caching built in and also the workspace analysis. But we can actually elevate the experience even further with so-called NX plugins. Now, NX plugins are optional add-ons on top of the NX core. They are basically NPM packages designed for a specific technology, like for instance React, Angular or Node, but also Playwright or even Java. The goal is to abstract away low-level configuration and then also provide utilities such as code generation or migrations for easy upgrading to the next version. Let's also pull in NX console, which is an editor extension for VS Code, IntelliJ and Cursor, which nicely pairs with NX plugins, but also provides other DX improvements for NX workspaces. In our specific workspace, for instance, we can install the NX Vite plugin by using the NX add command. And once we have that installed, we could go ahead and remove all the manually defined package JSON scripts. Now you might be wondering like, why would I even want to do that? Well, again, remember the packing your luggage, booking your flights. It's all about these configs, which you shouldn't necessarily have to deal with. Stick with me for a second. Now, first of all, if you remove these package JSON scripts, you can still see what NX understands in terms of package tasks by running NX show project and then the name of the project. So if you have NX console installed, if you open up the package JSON or also the corresponding tool configuration, such as in this case, Vite config, there's an icon that you can open and it will show you all the tasks that are defined for this specific project. Now let's open up, for instance, the build configuration, which you can see just runs vite build underneath, 
but it also comes with a bunch of different configurations out of the box. So for instance, it defines external dependencies such as the vid package that invalidates the cache, but also defines the output directory where the cache will be placed. And most importantly, if I, for instance, enhance the vid config by adding an output directory, and I change that to some different location, you can see how it automatically reflects that in the actual task that is being run. And this is crucial because now you don't manage things in multiple places, but you just change it in the actual tool, which in this case is Vite. You change the output directory and the next automatically picks it up and makes sure the output directory is correct. And since the core of an is technology agnostic and we have a Java Gradle plugin, this even works for Java workspaces. So here, for instance, I have a Spring demo that I built and added an X to it. So you can see the build Gradle file. And so you can just run an X build. And what it will do now is run the actual Gradle build based on the Gradle configuration. Now, in times where AI starts to become a fundamental tool of how you develop software, it is essential that those LLM assistants have the correct information. And so this is why we created the Annex MCP. It exposes all of the data and knowledge that NX has about your workspace to your coding assistant. This allows us to ask questions like, can you show me the impact of changes in my orders package? It is able to figure out via the NX MCP what the relationship is of orders with other packages in the workspace and also visualize that via the NX graph tool directly in your editor. All right, we're now all set up locally, but what about CI? That's when things usually start to get messy, like having to babysit that PR, rerunning the failed tests, waiting for that flaky test to finally pass. There's a lot of wasted time there. And this is what I call time to green. The moment until your PR is finally ready for review. And if you're now, whatever CI, yeah, I don't really care about that. What if I told you there's even a way to automatically fix your broken PR? Now, when it comes to CI, NX directly integrates with NX Cloud, which provides a series of features that help you reduce the time to green. First of all, things like AI-powered self-healing, which automatically fixes your PRs, but also purely on the speed of your CI runs that come with remote caching or distributed task execution. And speaking about self-healing CI, if you now make a mistake in one of your PRs and you push them up to GitHub, you will see an NX Cloud comment come in identify the problem and elaborate a new fix for that broken PR. Now you can directly either view the fix in your comment on GitHub, but more importantly is while you work in your IDE, you will get a notification with NX console, which will allow you to show the fix, inspect whether it's correct or not. And if this is valid, you can go and apply the fix either locally in your workspace or applying the fix directly on your PR. And so going back on GitHub, you will see the new comment that has directly been submitted by NX Cloud. So this eliminates a lot of the wasted time where you don't even realize CI failed. You keep working, self-healing fixes the problem and notifies you in the editor. But when you scale up, there's another challenge, build times. And this is where remote caching and distribution of tasks across multiple machines really provides benefits. So to enable it in our workspace, all we need to do is at that NX Cloud Start CI run and instruct it on how many machines we want to distribute our tasks. And so if you push this up on our PR, CI will kick in and you can see how the NX Replay, which is the remote cache, already predisposes whatever has run before. And then in the center, you can see the NX agents that starts processing multiple tasks in parallel across the three agents that we have defined. So NX is like your personal travel assistant. It helps you navigate your local workspace it is like having your own platform team that takes care of CI and NX even works behind the scenes to help you fix bugs automatically. So you can enjoy the travel and focus on what really matters. If you have an existing workspace, run NX in it or use create NX workspace to use one of our presets. And if you want to learn more, head over to our docs.